Hello everyone and welcome to our learning platform. Adding to the series of financial videos that we have already uploaded in our website, we will be introducing you to yet another concept of financial ratios. Financial ratios are very similar to health checkups. Periodically, we need to go to our doctor for certain tests or medications so as to keep our body moving. Similarly, in case of financial ratios, we need to understand the various concepts behind the company's investment strategies so as to understand our investment prospects into that company. So when you go to the doctor, you may be loaded with various kind of tests such as X-ray, ECG, blood test and several other related tests. Similarly, each of the tests give you different kind of results in terms of functioning of your various organs. So it is with financial ratios as well. Various types of ratios gives you an understanding of the various strategies behind the functioning of the company. So you can see these in terms of understanding of profitability, of valuation, of capital structure and there are many other concepts underlying to this. So let us actually understand what financial ratios mean. Financial ratios are derived from various resources. They are basically the financial information of the company which is derived from the sources such as balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statement etc. Now the resources that are derived from each of these resources are utilized to derivate comparisons and then these comparisons are used to analyze the future prospects of the company. So how does this happen? This happens when you take up the financial ratio of a particular company, you can understand the performance of that company over the years. You can also compare the performance of one company to the other in the same industry or maybe the different industries as well. Now let us understand the five major classifications of financial ratios. Financial ratios are broadly classified into five categories, which is Liquidity ratio and activity ratio. Then we have solvency ratio, valuation ratio, and then we have the profitability ratio. Now, while understanding each of the concepts briefly in this video, let me tell you that we will also make use of an application and see that how quickly we can see each of the ratios with a blink of an eye. So first one is the liquidity ratio. Liquidity ratio helps us to understand as to how efficient is the company in meeting its short term obligations. So why is it important from an investor's perspective? This is important because it may happen that at times in order to pay off its obligations, a company may perhaps sell its assets at a lower cost, which may in long run affect the stability of the company. One of the most common ratios which are used under liquidity ratio is current ratio. Now let us understand about next ratio which is the activity ratio. Activity ratio or we can also call it as efficiency ratio. This ratio helps an investor to understand as to how efficiently is the company deploying its resources under fixed assets and working capital. Now why is it important for an investor to know this? It is important because the company can also judge the efficiency of the management through this ratio. Very commonly used ratio in this category is asset turnover ratio. Next, let us learn about solvency ratio. Solvency ratio helps an investor to understand the stability of the company in the long run. This means that how much sound is the company as compared to its short term requirements. It also helps an investor to know that what are the growth and the future prospects of the company. There are three basic features which are shown by the solvency ratio. They are first it helps us to know what is the capital structure of the company. Then it helps us to know as to what kind of liabilities or debts has the company taken. Third, it helps us to know as to what kind of Equity and debt mix does the company possess? One of the most common form of ratios that are used under the category of solvency ratio is debt equity ratio. 
Now before we begin understanding about other ratios in this category, let us take the help of an application which will help us to get the information related to financial ratios quickly. All you need to do is download an application which is Stockage from Google Play Store. After downloading the application, go to the home screen. There you will find the option of search. Click on the company's name you want to search the financial ratio for. Now suppose I want to see the financial ratios for Tata Steel. All I need to do is click on the search button and type Tata Steel there. After that, when you click on the search button, a page will appear on which you will have option of clicking fundamentals. Click on fundamental option and then you will be redirected to a page where you will get an option of ratios. When you see there, you will get the choice to select multiple kind of ratios such as the ratios which we have discussed here so far. So that is how simple and quick will you be able to find the different ratios that are under various categories. Now let us know about the remaining two ratios which are the valuation ratio and profitability ratio. Valuation ratio basically helps us to know about the stock price of the company. With the help of valuation ratios, you can know about the price of a company that is a particular company over the period of years or you may also compare the prices of various companies in the same industry over the years or through in the same level. The common form of uh, this ratio which is used is P ratio which is the price earning ratio. Now all these ratios that we have discussed this far can be of course broadly categorized and in the next series of video we will be discussing about each of them broadly. So for now let us know about the last ratio which is the profitability ratio. This ratio helps an investor to understand as to how fast is the company able to convert its business operations into revenue. Undoubtedly, profits are a direct measurement of share prices. So the investor comes to know as to at what level a company is performing. Commonly used profitability ratio is return on assets or return on investment ratio. So this is all that we have in this video for you. Next video again will bring lots of learning so stay connected. In case you like the video, please do not forget to like, comment and share the same. Thank you.